And we welcome in the quarterback out of Bellevue West, Daniel Kalen. Daniel, thanks so much for being here. Congratulations, officially a Husker. How does it feel that signing day is here, not just for yourself, but a lot of these guys that you helped recruit to come be a Husker? Yeah, it feels incredible. Um, it's been a long time coming for sure. Um, definitely an exciting day. And um, yeah, like you said, not only me, but a lot, of, a lot of great athletes that are signing today. And I can't wait to get up in Lincoln with those guys. Okay, so, so take me through your recruiting process. I know you had a, a lot of interest, a lot of schools, and, and were committed. And then here comes Coach Rule and company. What, what was it about that cell? What was it about those relationships that you built that you knew that this was the spot for you? Yeah, I think right away when Coach Rule, um, you know, was named the head coach, he had reached out to me and we were able to talk. Um, and then I was able to get up on campus pretty quickly and meet Coach Satterfield, Coach DeMichael, connect with Coach Rule even more. Um, so really just from the start, I feel like I had a good relationship with them and I really kind of connected with them well. Um, obviously, you know, there are other schools that I liked as well and I, I went through the recruiting process. Um, but in the end, I do feel like I definitely made the right decision. It's where I wanted to be um, and, and I can't wait to be up there. So being a Nebraska kid, how did that feel when that offer, that first offer came in and to be a Husker? Yeah, when I, when I first got the offer, um, it wasn't from this staff, but um, it, it was definitely a surreal feeling. Um, it's something I've been working towards and something I wanted for a long time. So um, to hear that I had an offer to the University of Nebraska was crazy. Um, and then to finally commit, you know, after a few, years, a few more years down the road from the offer, um, it just means the world to me, and I can't wait to start getting to work. But um, I think everyone, especially people that have grown up in this state, knows what, knows what Husker football means around here. And so I don't take that lightly, and, and it definitely means a lot. So then immediately once you commit, you go to work helping to recruit your fellow, uh, fellow guys in this class. Why was that important for you from the start to get involved in that? Yeah, you know, I think especially – in football, it's a team sport, um, and, and especially at the quarterback position. Um, you know, I need guys to protect me. I need guys to throw the ball to. You need a good defense. So uh, I just think the better guys I have around me, um, you know, the better the team's obviously going to be. And so I want to be in, as active as I possibly could in recruiting and um, not only to get talented guys around me, but also to start developing relationships um, with my future teammates. So um, that was definitely important to me, and, and it, it was also a lot of fun as well. So you're building relationships, not just giving a sell, but what was your sell to come play with you and be a Husker and play at Nebraska with you? It was really more just trying to sell uh, what Nebraska football has to offer, um, what, what it would look like if, if this place, um, you know, was, was really, really successful like it has been in the past and, and what the coaching staff, um, I believe, that they can do. So um, that's really what all I did. I tried to, you know, be genuine, be myself. Um, you know, I, I think just being genuine and developing those relationships is, is really what mattered. Okay, so you have a couple of teammates coming with you from Bellevue West. Let's talk about them individually. First of all, give us your perspective of Dave Vaughn for Husker fans listening in that, that might not have seen you guys play. What's he like? What can we expect from him? Yeah, the, the funny thing about the, you know, the two guys above you West, and obviously we'll start with Dave Vaughn, is, is they, have, they play the same position, but they, play, they have different play styles. So, um, you know, Dave Vaughn's more of the – straight line speed, bigger physical receiver, you know, get up and, and, and high point a ball. Um, he's going to make a lot of plays. He even played defense for us this year as well. So um, just a dude that's going to come in, and he's been a Husker fan. He's growing up around here, and so he's just going to work hard, and um, he's definitely an electric type of player. Um, so that, that's where you're getting in, Dave on. All right, now tell us about Isaiah. Yeah, Isaiah. Isaiah is someone I've known for um, a little less longer than, than Dave on, but um, he's – like I said, on the different kind of side of it, he's, um, he can still go deep. He can still take the top off the defense, but he's more just get the ball in his hands. He's going to make plays. Um, you know, he's, he's one of those players that you can just throw a hitch and he's going to take it to the house and, and make you look a lot better than you are. So um, he's, he's going to be a great player, also works really hard, and we have a good relationship. Okay, so I want you to take me back. Little Daniel, when did he first start playing quarterback? Why did you fall in love with the position? And, and where did the dream come to play college football? Yeah, I, I've been playing quarterback, or not quarterback, I've been playing football for as long as I can remember. Um, the first team I actually remember playing for is when, when I was in kindergarten, and Grant Winstrom was actually my coach in Springfield, Missouri. Um, but growing up until about sixth grade, I always um, loved receiver. I loved playing receiver. 
Um, I'm a Giants fan because I grew up being a, a big Victor Cruz and Odell Beckham Jr. fan. But um, I remember it was summer going into – or spring of sixth grade, my mom saw an ad for a, um, a quarterback coach, like a quarterback lesson, and I went. And really just from that point on, I've been playing quarterback, and I fell in love with the position. So um, I've been playing that ever since, um, and it's, it's really just – um, a huge priority in my life is, is playing football and being a quarterback. And it definitely means even more um, to play. No, I'll be playing at the University of Nebraska. What did you love about the position then when you, when you first went to that first lesson? And, and what'd you fall in love, why'd you fall in love with it? I just think, I think there was a lot more detail and, and, and cerebral parts of the game than I realized at that, at that point in my career. Um, you know, especially in today's game, so much of playing quarterback is – is you know uh, above the shoulders how how quickly can you process information how well can you know the plays and and all all the, all the things that come with that so i think that's really um what kind of sold the position to me and why i fell in love with it um i think a big piece of it as well is the leadership portion um you know i have the ball in my hands at all times i'm the person that the team's going to look to um in good and bad times and so i think that's also a, a big piece of why i love playing quarterback so what are the, what's next for you? What are the goals? You're going to be here early, right? Um, what what goes into that? What what do you need to do to continue to develop and and maybe be able to contribute as a as a freshman? Yeah, you know, especially this next um, little over a month. But I didn't take a lot of time off after the season. Um, you know, I, I want to get right back into working hard and getting ready to to be up in Lincoln. So it's really just. Lifting, developing my speed, getting bigger, faster, stronger. Uh, I have some great quarterback coaches, uh, Coach Taglin that I work with in Omaha, and Coach Hoover in Kansas City that I'm going to be throwing with over the next month, um, and, and really just doing what I've what I've always done. You know, and the, at the end of the day, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. Um, you just got to stay true to your training of, of what's got you here, and just continuing to grind and work hard. Um, and then, you know, just when I get to campus, it's really just the same thing: just working as hard as possible, learning the playbook, being in the facility as much as I can. Um, and at the end of the day, it's always a competition. If, I'm, if I end up getting on the field, you know, it's obviously what I want. But um, at the end of the day, I'm just going to compete and work as hard as I can and, and develop, as, develop into the best quarterback that I can be. You've talked about the cerebral part of it. Do you, does it excite you diving into the playbook, getting to know that, study that, all the ins and outs of all that? Yeah, that's always super exciting. Um, I remember when I first got to Bellevue West, I was super excited when we first started installing plays. And so um, I'm definitely excited. I know it's a way more complex offense than, than at the high school rep level for sure. Um, and, and that's definitely exciting. Um, you know, I'm excited to just really just, just dive in fully um, and start learning the playbook. Okay, uh, last serious question I got for you. How, you. You spent a lot of time getting to know this group. How much do you like this signing class, this this signing class that signed on the dotted line today to come to Nebraska. Yeah, I love those guys. Um, you know, like you said, I, I tried to help as much as I could with recruiting. And it really has brought me close to a lot of those dudes, um, especially some of the local guys that I've already known for a while, like Donovan Jones, Carter Nelson, Grant Bricks, um, and Keelan Smith, and then the guys that are out of state, like Ja'Cory, um, Gibson Pyle, you have Jake Peters, and I can name them all. I can keep going, but it's just a great group of guys, and I just can't wait to, to be around them every day and start getting to work. Okay, got some fun questions for you. Let Husker fans get to know you a little bit. You, you kind of mentioned this. I'm all not right. sure if it'll be the same answer, but who was your favorite player or athlete growing up? Yeah, I, I would say probably Odell, mm -hmm. Odell Beckham Jr., um, I used to, I actually had a perm. Um, I had a perm because I wanted my hair to look like his. So, um, but I would say first was Victor Cruz because I actually read his, um, his book when I was in third grade. And I, I remember used to, I used to do the salsa when I was scoring flag football. But um, yeah, no, I, it's, it's probably those two guys because I've been a Giants fan ever since I read that book. That's awesome. Do you have a picture of the perm days? Uh, I, I have a video. You can actually go on my Instagram. It's, uh, I un I unarchived it. It's like the first Instagram post on my page. It's a video of like me doing these fake water bottle flips, and you can see the permit. I, I definitely have some photos as well, but um, <laughs> like, we got we got some evidence of the the perm days. We might have to bust those out. Okay, what's your favorite yep. hobby outside of football? Hobby outside of football, um, I would probably say I like I like playing cards a lot. I love really playing any other sport, so I like playing pick up basketball or pickleball or whatever it is. Um, and then I honestly love to travel and be in nature. I'd probably say those things are 
um, some of the biggest things I like to do outside of football, but um, I definitely keep football a pretty big priority in my life. So, You got a favorite card game? You a pitch guy? Um, I, yep, pitch is definitely up there. Um, dummy rummy. I play cribbage, um, golf. There's, there's a lot of games. I, I can really play any card game and, and have a good time. I've heard two of those four. Okay, uh, favorite cereal? Favorite cereal? Um, I would probably say either, I'm pretty basic, probably Honey Nut Cheerios and um, Lucky Charms. Love it, love it. Okay, I want you to rank these cookies, all right, from one through okay. four. Chocolate chip, peanut butter, oatmeal raisin, macadamia nut. All right, oatmeal raisin definitely lasts. <laughs> uh, and I'll probably do peanut butter. And then pff, I think it's almost a tie with chocolate chip and macadamia nut. I, I feel like macadamia nut cookies are definitely underrated. Okay, I love it. And I also love that you have oatmeal raisin last because that's been a big debate here on our Huskers Radio Network. I'm sure you know Damon Benning. He's a big oatmeal raisin guy. I hate oatmeal raisin, so I'm glad you're on team dislike oatmeal raisin. Uh, Daniel, thank yep. you so yep. much for your time. Appreciate it. Congratulations again. Yep, I appreciate it. Thank you.